So now let's work around with some gravity simulation using the attractor inside of Cinema 4D. So in order to work with a tractor, first of all, I'm going to bring in a spear right here. So let's say this is going to be the collision object. And I'm going to bring in another uh, object, like, like let's say, for example, a tube, which is going to be uh, the, uh, the rigid body. So I'm just going to rescale this in size, just like this, and put it over here somewhere like this. So now let's uh, think of this object like a planet and there's a gravity in it and that is pulling in this object. So uh, first of all, I need to convert this into a collider body. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go over here on the simulation tag and I'm going to turn this into a collider body just like this. And I'm going to go over, over to the tube right here. So just right click onto the tube. I'm going to uh, change this uh, simulation tag into a rigid body right over here. But once I press the play button, you can see that everything actually falls down and it does not actually fall. It does not actually seem as if this is controlling uh, any gravity right over here, just like this. So I'm going to have a bunch of these tubes right, right around. So I'm just going to click and drag this around right here. So from the top view, let's say I'm going to go over here somewhere on the top view and I'm going to drag around these objects just like this. So I have a bunch of rigid bodies over here which is going to be pulled by this object right over here. So let's just play this in and you can see that everything actually falls down, it does not work around well like that. So I need to apply something called the attractor and what the attractor will do is it'll make it seem as if uh, the force of gravity is coming from uh, this object right over here. So for the attractor, I'm going to go in to simulate right over here, the simulate menu, and I'm going to bring in a tractor from over here. So let's see, on the forces, you can see that there's a tractor right over here. So you can see that the attractor is here. You do not actually assign the attractor onto the uh, sphere itself. You keep it right in between, just like this. So I'm going to go to the side, it's in between, and there you go, so it's in between. So it'll make it seem as if uh, the spear object is pulling it, pulling everything inside, but uh, the attractor. So uh, make sure that the spear, uh, the collider body is turned on. So let's press the play button. But I can see that nothing happens because the attractor force is not actually enough. So I'm just going to go over here and then go back. I'm going to increase the frame into 1000 frames so that you got more time to work around with. So I'm going to go, go to the attractor and you can see that the strength is the 10. So the strength is not very big. So I'm going to increase the strength around 20, uh, around 30,000. So let's say the strength is very big. And if I have to press the play button now, you can see that it actually attracts everything with quite a bit of force right over here. So you can see that everything gets pulled, apart, uh, pulled very, very fast. So I'm just going to change this around uh, 10,000 and let's see the results. So just play it out just like that and you can see that the attractor actually works around with quite a less force Just like that as you can see so I can increase and decrease the force right over here So everything else actually falls down because there's a gravity going on over there as well So 20,000 let's do around 20,000 and let's see how the attractor works like so now So you can see that everything actually works around that's fine just like that with the 20,000 You can also work around with the speed limit over here so you can decrease the speed limit of the tractor. So let's say I'm going to do something like 20 right over here. And you can see that the speed actually works around with, uh, like that. So that actually works around with the pull force right, uh, right over here. 100 centimeters. So you can see that the force actually works around with like that. So I'm going to go over here. You can see that that is how everything is actually pulled on. So let me do something like a thousand centimeter of force. And I'm going to start with the beginning. And you can see that they revolve around uh, the spear just like uh, they are something else just like that. So let me just go to the attractor right over here Let's do something like around 500 centimeter of force just like that and you go over here And you can see that they actually revolve around the planet just like that So if I were to move around the attractor, you can see that they actually move around with the attractor right over here So it is not the spear that is attracting but this attractor right over here So the, this is like a gravitational force which is pulling everything together just like this these are the most like acceleration and you can also turn this into a force. You can see that it is much more forceful right here. You can also go for acceleration for more of a natural look just like that. So you can increase and decrease the centimeter right over here. So I'm going to change this into something like 15,000 and uh, you can see that the force gradually changes just like that. So everything else is actually working on 
just like that according to the attractor. So you can see that the gravity actually pulls everything together just like that. So that is how you can work around with the center of gravity inside of Cinema 4D just by using the attractor and uh, you can uh, create some uh, really cool effects just by using this. So I'm going to make attractor the uh, part of the spear itself just like that. So if I were to move the spear, you can see that it actually moves along uh, with the attractor just like that. So you just go over here. So increase the strength if you were to go down, bring it up. And that is how everything is actually attracted just like with the spear, just like that. And you can see that it's very, very cool, just like that. So go back in the beginning again, increase the force right over here from the attractor and it'll pull out even more. So 30,000, that's be it. So it actually pulls out everything just like that. So just like that, everything is pulled out. The spear, move it around and there you go. Move it down, move it up. And there you go, everything gets attracted by the spear just like that. So that is how you can work around with the attractor for gravity simulation inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.